All right, guys, welcome back. And we are on day three of the Black Rock Shooter Figma cast. Now, today we are taking a look at, I guess, mm, I guess she would have to be my second favorite. This is Black Gold Saw. Now, why is she my second favorite? I mean, I don't know. It's just her color scheme. I love her design. It's very simplistic, yet very menacing. It just, she looks freaking amazing. I really do like this. And maybe it's because of this sword. That sword is freaking epic. But anyways, 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 let's start off, obviously, with the accessories. So here we go. Once again, like all the other Figmas you've seen in the past from my channel, you get this awesome little uh, pamphlet that showcases everything. Now, this is key, guys. I've seen some of my friends, they just didn't even look at this, and they literally tried to push this piece into, um, well, push the hand into this piece, not knowing that this, the hilt part comes off. Now, with that being said, if you do that, you're probably going to break the figure or break the part of the figure. And that is something you don't want to do. Now, I'm just going to warn you guys. This hand is very difficult to actually get into uh, even when you take this out of the actual sword and then you slide it through the hand. It's very rigid, as you guys can kind of tell here, right here. So... Be patient, take your time with it. Do not, do not rush, or else you're definitely gonna break something. So be careful. So that's very important. You get the nice little Figma bag. Now, just like um, Dead Master, she doesn't come with a rack of hands. Why? Because her hands are way too large for uh, the rack. So let me show those off. You get two. Actually, I'm using two of the different. Here we go. You get two, like, closed-fisted hands. Now, honestly speaking, I have no idea what this is used for because these holes are tiny. They're tiny, 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 and they definitely, you definitely can't squeeze the hilt of the sword into these hands. So this will just be for punching people, pretty much. Now, I love the maroon color that they used here, or maybe it's like a blood red, but this thing looks amazing. I love the sculpt of the knuckles. I love everything about it. So that's pretty cool. You get a set of another closed-fisted hands. But this time, they're on an angle. So if you want to have her holding the sword in on like kind of loosely, then these are the hands to use. So that's pretty cool. You get this crazy relaxed skeleton demon hands. Now I only have one here because one is actually on the figure. And then lastly, you get these once again. I call these like the Freddy Krueger hands because I could imagine um, these hands coming and wrapping around you when you're trying to sleep. And yeah, that's it's creepy thought, but yeah, these are pretty scary looking hands, I'm not going to lie. If I saw these hands coming at me, yeah, I would probably run for my life. Alright, now, the other two accessories besides her sword you get different faces. So you get this face right here. She's looking straight at you. Her eyes are just blood red, which is pretty scary. And you get this vampire look. Like she's grinning. She's showing her little teeth, but it looks like fangs because of the way her mouth is. And she just looks super crazy. So that's cool. All right, guys, so let's take a look at Black Gold Saw. This is the TV animated version, so there you go. Now, the sword is fantastic. Now, maybe it's the sword that really makes me like this figure so much. Like I said, she is my second favorite figure from the Black Rock Shooter, um, I guess, Figma line. Now, which one is my favorite favorite? Well, I'll tell you that. Actually, you'll see it in my next review. So, here we go. Yeah, what can I say? 
she looks gorgeous. I mean, take a look. Her freaking demon horns, her awesome, beautiful, yet scary face. Her hair is fantastic. It goes from this brown and the edges here, as you guys can clearly see, it goes and turns more like a red, a very dull red to make it look like blood. I love just the outfit that she's in. I mean, who doesn't like some cleavage, right? <laughs> yeah, so there's that. Um, I love these like stars on her like top piece. That looks pretty cool. Once again, like I said, the hair is just awesome. I really do dig that. Uh, even when it comes to just her pants, these little shorts, I just love how it looks. The red, white, and the black look just great. I love the color scheme. Now, her boots are freaking amazing. This thing is very crazy. Now, the cool thing about this is it starts from here, it goes, and this is where her knees are at. So this Yes, here you can clearly see the knees, but if you have it dead on, you really can't see it. So I love how they try to hide those ugly knee joints because Figmas are known to have really crappy joints because or looking joints. They're really great for articulation and whatnot, but they just look terrible. Like for example, right there, you see the ball. Uh, but other than that, I mean, look at it. The freaking... Yeah, look at the shoes. I mean, this girl is ready to kill someone. Any part of her body is a threat. Her head, her arms, uh, her freaking knees, her shoes, her sword. I mean, you come near her, she is going to attack you. Now, surprisingly, even without the base, even though her uh, boots, it's very narrow on the bottom, so there's not a lot of surface area, she has no problem standing, which is fantastic. I don't know how Figma did it because, for example, Marvel Legends, they can't stand for the life of them, but she can. Now, articulation-wise, the head is limited. Why? Because of her hair. Because her hair, obviously, is long and it's going to limit the backward motion. But going down, you have a pretty decent range. Now, the hair pieces, real quickly, they are on ball joints right there, so you can make them go out get closer to the body you name it you can do it now the arms the arms can go out this piece and the shirt piece it's two different pieces and this top part is a rubbery piece so you won't have any problems with articulation there is a bicep swivel built in right there Figma joint right here so you get the more than 90 degree uh, bend right there her hands are on this little mini ball joint so you can go down up and turn 360 and that's that now her waist she does have a waist swivel it's actually built in right there and she does have an upper diaphragm joint and it's hidden by this piece right here the up on the top of her I don't know what you call this tank top or whatever but yeah her legs pretty standard her knees, like I said, uh, you could clearly see the ball joint right there, or the Figma joint goes more than 90 degrees. She could probably touch her butt with that. Her feet can go all the way down, can go all the way up, and the, it does have a rocker. So, there you go. Now, what do I think about this figure? Well, as you guys probably uh, guessed, this is a must-get. Is it because I like Black Rock Shooter that much? Maybe. But, I mean, seriously, look at the detail that went into this figure. I mean, who can say anything about, bad about this figure? I have yet to see any reviews on her where it was negative. Seriously, it's that damn good. So, guys, if you haven't watched Black Rock Shooter and you want to kind of get into it i think this is a must you need to as an anime fan you have to at least try out black rock shooter so there you have it guys guys thank you so much for watching
please make sure if you like the video please just hit that subscribe button it takes two seconds and you'll see anytime i upload a video you'll see it on your news feed and if you want to leave a comment regarding this figure or just anything in general hey feel free to do so i'm more than willing to talk to you guys and happy to do so guys thank you thank you thank you for stopping by thank you for watching my video once again please rate comment subscribe and until next time guys this is daybreak 748 and i'm signing out peace